Welcome to Indie Game Month Day 25. Today we are going to create the Angry Chef from Overcooked. Overcooked is a super fast paced cooking game where you have to gather all your ingredients, process them, and cook them fast enough before your customers get mad and leave. And I've worked in some kitchens before and I can say they portray the hectic environment pretty well. Working in a kitchen can be fun, but not really when it's extremely busy. Sometimes if I need just a flat sheet of white clay, I'll just cut it straight from the block, that way I don't have to touch it very much and hopefully not get it dirty. We need some buttons onto the apron. And now the little bow tie. Taking some tan clay for the head, it might look extremely big right now, but after we get the face and the hair on it, it actually turns out to be the perfect size. We can start with some angry wrinkles on the forehead. There's a ton of different chefs you can choose from in the Overcooked games, but I feel like the angry chef has kind of become a sort of iconic character for the game. Personally, I like to play as the Axolotl Chef. I'm adding in some sideburns to sort of build up the beard. Luckily, this character has so much facial hair, you don't really even have to make much of a face. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's very memorable. I think this figure turned out perfect. There's not a single thing about it that I would change. I haven't felt like that for a pretty long time with creating clay figures. Let's add some hair into the back of the head. We can add this little piece to connect the sideburns to the back of the head. And we don't actually have to worry about the top of the head since he'll be wearing a chef's hat. These are going to be some ears. So let's get those into place on our angry chef. Now we can start working on the chef's hat. I'm using a very, very light gray, basically white, for the hat. And I'll make this in two different sections. The top piece will have all of these little wrinkles in it. All of these lines help to make the hat look a bit more puffy. Let's get that onto the head, and we can finish connecting these lines into the center. Finally, we have just a little ball of clay in the middle. Now let's take some more white and finish up the apron. I didn't make this strip quite long enough, so we need to extend this with another strip. And on the back, let's attach a nice little bow tie. Our chef is complete, but he's not really a chef if he doesn't make any food. So let's start making a cheeseburger. This is a pretty common thing that you make in the game. I thought it was pretty crazy how easy it was to make this burger. All the details are so simple, but they look so good together. You won't really be able to see the lines on most of the lettuce, but you can on the edges. We have some tomato, and a slice of cheese. And finally, the top bun. This is one of those odd times where looking at something clay actually made me feel hungry. I guess that means I did a pretty good job making this burger. Throughout the different levels, the kitchens can look very different and they get super crazy. You even go into outer space. But I decided to go for a nice simple countertop, something that you would see in the first levels. Now our chef and burger are ready to get baked. After baking, there's nothing else we have to do, so here it is! The Angry Chef and Burger from Overcooked. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out the playlist at the end, which is updated every day with a new indie game character. 
Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.